All right, I got some flip-up sights here recently. They're a real inexpensive set of sights, but I like them because they lay down. Okay, so for the front sight, I'm going to make my own sight. The uh, Rig American has this threaded barrel, so I can take this cap off. And I'm going to put a washer behind it, or a large washer. And then I'm going to weld a piece of metal straight up on there. And you can, you know, you can adjust it side to side and crank this down nice and tight. And uh, that'll be my front sight. I'll shape it, I'll blue it, and it'll make it look nice. But for now, <clears throat> I'm going to shoot it with a zip tie to get the correct height and then I know which how, how tall to make my uh, front sight. I think this is going to work out pretty good. I'm going to just leave this rear sight folded down. You can see uh, when it flips up it really sets up pretty high. But let's see if I can get that in there. not going to focus on the front side but uh, what I'm going to do is keep it set down like that so it's nice and low profile that way I don't have to make a uh, front sight that's you know three inches tall I think this is going to work out good I'll show you the results when I get it all finished up all right here's my ammunition be shooting some 300 blackout these here are, they got jumbled up when I was coming up the hill here. I drove out, out there with the truck and back. Looks like they bounced. This is a little bumpy ride. Somebody's bounced out of there. But these are some factory ammunition. Some uh, Privy Partisan 2025 grain. These here, and then I got my reloads. It's a uh, 125 grain also over uh, some H110 powder. You can take a look. It's a, a mid-level load. It's not a uh, super hot load. It's a little closer to the beginning, the starting load, just a little above that. All right, here we go. Take the first shot. The target, see how... Uh, Good my zip tie. That's what he's gonna do here. A bit on the center. I got a bit closer, probably 50 yards, maybe 70, 50, 75, 70 yards, something like that. I'm gonna get it, taking our shot at it, so I'm going to aim towards the bottom of the target, because I think I went over, I didn't see anything low to the ground, any holes or anything. I seen the dirt kick up that time. I'll take a look at it. Sitting here. Yes. Yes, I knew. Shooting really high. So I was holding down here at the bottom of the target. 50 yards. Shot that high. Like two feet high. Pretty well centered though. So I'm going to need a taller zip tie. Alright, so, putting our zip tie on there. It's probably about a half inch taller than that last one. 
All right, yes. That's really good. Elevation wise, look at that. So I got that one here quite high, and then I hit one probably right about here. You can see that where that bullet hit right there. The dirt spot, and then I clipped the uh, zip tie about halfway. So look, pretty good elevation, ain't it? I was right on that target, so we're gonna. I think I'm gonna leave it at that for the elevation. All right, I was up shooting my Ruger American ranch rifle and 300 blackout the other day. I got some sight. I got it sighted in. I put this peep sight on the back, and I was using this zip tie sighted in. So what I did was I kept trimming a zip tie till I got the right height, so I know what. I to uh, make my front sight. Now I got my front sight made. What I did was I took a split washer that had an inside diameter 5 eighths of an inch. So it fits over the muzzle end here, which is threaded, not the cap. Then I, I welded a nail on here and I uh, ground it all down. So this is the profile of the site. It's got a nice point to it. And so all I really got to do is uh, screw the cap on. And I left purposely left it a little bit higher than it would be. Left it a little tall. Taller than the zip tie. Yep, I got this backwards. Okay, yep, yep, it goes this way. I'll show you in a second here. So all I gotta do is get it centered on there, and then I was probably gonna do is put a little bit of uh, Loctite on that cap. But you can see, this would make a pretty good front sight. A little bit crude, but uh, it's really difficult to find front sights for these uh, Ruger American Ruger Ranch rifles. So I made it just a touch taller than a zip tie, so I can come back with a file and just kind of fine tune that. I'm going to resight it in with that metal sight since I get this clamped down nice and tight. Alright, so I got my front sight. I think it's centered pretty good on there and I put a little dab of white paint on there. Hope you can see that. I'm just gonna go ahead. Now I better uh Check and see where that hit. In case I'm really off side to side or something. See if I can bring it in here. Don't tell me that hit dead center. That's a little bit of a walk. Back up this hill, it's another sprinkle now. See what kind of group we get. I'm just, that's dead center, so. I can make any adjustments at all. Just gonna go ahead and fire five rounds off. Let's see where that hit. Pretty dang close. Just a little bit low and to the left. Alright. Didn't bring my binoculars, so.
another look. And, oh, that one shot really low. Yeah. I'll run down there. We'll zoom in on it. See what we got. They are. Most of them are shooting low. So. That means I have to foul that sight a little bit. That's weird. At first round. Well, I had my reading glasses on and it looked kind of fuzzy. I found it's better to uh, not have the reading glasses on. I could see the target and the front sight, and the peep kind of fixes itself. You'll, your eye will center it in the peep, but <clears throat> that's probably why I shot that one high. Then the rest of them, I took my reading glasses down a little bit to uh, see. So I need to file the sight a little bit to. Uh, raise it up home because most of them are shooting probably five six inches low on that not too bad though all right i'm just gonna file this down a little bit i think i had it a little thin anyway so it's kind of hard to see the point so this will probably help out both ways all right <clears throat> I'm holding over the side. I'm going to fire two, five rounds, and I'll see what happens here. Should have raised it a bunch this distance. Take a look at that first one. Let's see, right? That's pretty good elevation-wise. Go to the left. Right. Liking it. I got fouled enough off. Yeah. 
out now. It's a little lower, but it's centered. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and fire the other three. That last one. Got punched on that last one. So. <clears throat> One's low, or three of them to the left. I'm not sure where that last one went. That one just disappeared off the page. I totally flinched. I think it's in the upper left. All right, well, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, some above the line, some below the line. I figured if I, uh, you know, load up some ammo a little hotter than these, it'll probably shoot a little high. I can uh, say it'll, it might shoot dead on at uh, 100 yards then so there's the homemade site what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off here and I'm going to paint it black and put a little white paint like I got some white paint on there now and that's it guys a little homemade site out of a washer and nail and uh, the rear site Amazon special Yeah, I wasn't trying too hard. I'm going to have to get some uh, brand new brass because I, I bought that <clears throat> brass during the pandemic and it was some horrible. Some of it was, uh, had the primers crimped in there like old military brass. Someone turned, you know, changed, turned it into 300 blackout like it was a 223 brass and some had crimped primers. I saw I got high primers. I got some of the necks were baggy on them and just there's some horrible brass but that's all I could find because I bought it during that pandemic and you couldn't find anything so let's see if I hit any of the, hit the target at all probably did a couple times here get my glasses here see if there's any more holes I'd say a couple of them hit that I could see two above that blue tape and at least one to the right of center maybe one above center I can't remember exactly where all the holes were before but all of them hit <clears throat> pretty close to that what center or just them two above the tape line there so I think that if I was a deer I would have got them in a good spot just uh, quickly run some rounds through it, standing. Not too bad. I'm liking it. I really like the uh, compact size of this uh, Ruger Ranch. is a good woods rifle. 
you know, inexpensive. It's got you know, plastic stock. You don't have to worry about scratching up some wood stock or some fancy gun. <clears throat> it's just something you could, actually you could throw this in the back of your truck and just leave it back there. Good little rifle.